What is this mysterious object in the sky? YouTuber Tiffany Campbell shares this footage of an object she says was falling to Earth. Is that a plane going down? I don't think it's a plane. Well, that's cool. I wish what I is that, James? I, I can't even tell you, but I don't know. Hey, Mom, know. can Joey see a plane? Joey, look through my phone. It's hard to tell what this object is. It doesn't appear to be falling very quickly, but that may just be an optical illusion. The streak trailing behind it suggests it's traveling at significant speed, but this could be a contrail from a plane. Is that a plane going down? I don't think it's a plane. Well, that's cool. I wish what I is that, I James? I can't even tell you, but I don't hey, Mom, know. Can Joey see is this object even falling at all? It could just appear that way due to the perspective at which it was captured. I think it could just be a plane with a contrail, but it could also be a meteorite or some other unidentified flying object falling from the sky. What do you think? Would you be able to sleep after seeing this? This video is a re-upload shared by YouTuber Randy Stover. I was unable to track down the original source. At first, the person looks as though they were perhaps jolted awake from a nightmare. Then this happens. Something apparently paranormal is lifting them by their feet from the bed. Is this just some crazy abnormal gravitational pull? Or has something demonic entered the scene? I think this is a true case of paranormal activity. Fishing line would tear painfully into the ankles, so I don't see any other explanation for this one. The McIntyre Villa in Kansas is reputedly haunted, and the YouTube team from Amy's Crypt is here to spend the night. During their investigation, they hear strange noises, like this metallic tap and these footsteps. Apparently notorious. I definitely heard that as well. That looks like a footstep. And when they ask for something louder, they get it. Can you make a louder noise for us, please? Ooh. Next to a creepy doll, they receive a message through the ghost tube app. That's funny. I see you. <gasps> um... That's cool, are you in I, I just opened the curtain and it's like, I see you. The cellar serves up lots of sound. They ask the spirits a question and get a bone-chilling answer. A steady cam captures a REM pod briefly triggered as an unexplained noise is heard. It's so cold guys, I'm totally wearing a neck warmer right now. And still, the noises continue. You know what's weird? Well, not weird, but like... Well, there are no jump scares in this haunted mansion. There are too many noises that cannot be explained in my opinion. My conclusion is that you couldn't pay me to spend the night here. This century-old home has YouTuber Llama Paranormal on their toes. Paranormal activity has increased daily, and this is one of their craziest captures yet. He starts recording after hearing something. Every single night, nearly now. Just weird things, but I only catch a minor stuff. Oh my <laughs> Although the door alarms him, I find the aggressive shaking of the curtains at the start of the video even more unnerving. But then as he gets up to check it out, things get creepier. It all turns sideways, and then this happens. Oh, oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? After all that, watch the gray item on the white table to the right. Oh my f mate.
if I were Llama, I wouldn't be headed upstairs. I would be out of that house, and then I'd suggest burning it to the ground. The extraterrestrials have come for the commander-in-chief. This video, shared by Redditor ExpensiveAd1774, was captured over Washington, D.C. Three red lights appear in an overcast sky. At first, it appears they could belong to a triangular spacecraft, but the lights seem to shape shift over time. I knew I was gonna see you something today. That's the same thing across that bridge. They're here. Many in the comments say they've witnessed something similar. What could this be? Whoa. It's not flares because look like moving away. Whoa. I think it's out. And now Whoa. they're out. One of them is still up. Whoa! I don't think this is a set of drones. Washington, D.C. is understandably a no-drone zone. But with so many in the comments encountering similar unidentified flying objects, I've got to believe there's either some logical explanation or we really are being monitored by extraterrestrials. While investigating the purportedly haunted Loveland Castle in Ohio, YouTube team Bump in the Night Society experiences something fascinating. Lead investigator Sean is doing a remote estate session in the throne room while his team watches using a baby monitor. This is the message he is given. Camera. Camera. The team asks the spirits to do something. Can you, talk one more Can you knock one of the cameras over, please? Then, shortly after this happens. Oh! No, it knocked mine. Uh, it knocked the baby monitor. Oh my gosh. Caught that on camera. Back to that. Dude. All right? You good? Here it is again from inside the room. Back with that. You all right? Was it just an unstable monitor, or did the spirits answer their request? Personally, I think the spirits were listening. This is too much of a coincidence to be anything but the paranormal. Despite its name, the doll room in the historic Jefferson Hotel is a sinister place, and this video shared by the hotel's YouTube channel confirms this. Listen closely. It's some more, uh, dolls to our doll room. That particular doll is over 100 years old. As you can see, the manager hears a noise down the hallway, and as soon as he turns to look, one of the dolls falls down in the room. Listen again. He enters to see what happens. Another little video tour that I do when we add some more items to the rooms or whatever. So, we added some more dolls to this room, which is our dolls and stuff room. And as I walked in the room, I heard a noise going down the hall right there. He replaces the doll. But it doesn't get any less creepy. To me, it looks like it's watching him. This doll is reputed to make you crazy, and Dima is spending three days alone with it. Let's see what happens. First, Dima introduces viewers to the doll. What do you mean? Как мне сказали, чтобы освободить ее, надо, соответственно, разбить стекло. It doesn't take long for things to unravel. At around 3 a.m., this happens. That sounded like a footstep. For some reason, Dima decides to visit the doll, and he soon regrets it. Stop. Stop. <gasps> I mean, wouldn't you? 
Так, мать, давай-ка ты. А прям на меня смог, блин, тебе весь в мурашках. Those eyes look real, are they? Soon Dima loses his pulse. Что происходит? Что происходит, блядь? Блядь, что, блядь, что происходит? Ой, что случилось? Почему у меня пульс ноль? Окей, это был просто акцидент, но это... Что это такое? What are these unexplained noises? And this one? As the doll is taken over Dima's bed, its presence moves things in his room. Later, he discovers the doll's little shoe on the floor. Сука! Ребята, это же ее вышло. How did it end up there? Has she been wandering around while he sleeps? One of the security cameras then moves on its own. Was it just positioned poorly? Or is this the possessed doll's work as well? I think it probably is the Maleficent spirit at play. This doll is 100% possessed, and in my opinion, its demon is now on the loose in Dima's house. He shouldn't have ever let her in. The zombie road in Missouri is purportedly haunted, and YouTube team Soul Searching is investigating it themselves. As they start on the trail, they receive a message from the beyond. I know, that's kind of weird that it said seeds, because that's usually my thing, I bring seeds. It's asking for its seeds and we don't have them, it's gonna be angry. I know, because I switched from my camera bag too. The YouTuber leaves her camera on while walking and the audio captures this. A cannon from the Civil War. Could be. Yeah. Civil War ghost on this room. That really did sound like a cannon to me. Later they capture an EVP on their digital recorder. See that box, that white noise? Can you tell us your name? It's trying, but prepared. Can you tell us? Can you tell us? Can you tell? They believe it sounds like I am here, but I'm not sure if I hear that. However, it does sound to me like a whisper. As they continue, another unexplained noise is captured. This voice that they hear sounds rather mechanical. Could it simply be the sound of one of their devices? Well, I can't say for sure that Zombie Road is haunted based on these findings. The ghostly cannon strikes me as a true Civil War curse. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.